Good day, Grade 10. Today we will talk about the complementary and alternative healthcare modalities. In this lesson, you are all expected to explain the different kinds of complementary and alternative healthcare modalities. H10CH-ID25, Week 4 Health. To activate your prior knowledge, let's start with this activity. On your notebook, arrange the jumbled letters in order to form the correct term or word. The picture serves as glue. Answer each item in 20 seconds. Let's check your answers if it's correct. Thank you so much grade 10 for answering your activity. I guess you are all now ready on our main lesson for today. Complementary and Alternative Healthcare Modalities What are these complementary and alternative healthcare modalities? Why do people grab such services? You'll find it as we go on with our lesson. Consumers today face an amazing array of choices when they consider taking action to improve their health or seek care for a health problem. Complementary and alternative health care modalities are often taken because some individuals believe that traditional medical care may not be enough to treat a particular health condition. However, there are four major domains of complementary and alternative medicine. Biology-based practices, energy medicine, manipulative and body-based practices, and mind-body medicine. Examples of biologically-based practices are taking herbal medicine and a filling of special diets and vitamins. Energy medicine uses magnetic fields or biofields in belief that energy fields may enter various points of the body. Next is manipulative and body-based practices. These are bodily kinesthetic in nature and are concerned with movement therapy. And the last one is the mind-body medicine which uses mental exercises and belief that the brain is central to the health of an individual. In our country, Republic Act 8243 or the Traditional and Alternative Medicine Acts of 1907 provisioned the creation of the Philippine Institute of Traditional and Alternative Healthcare, or PTAC, which worked closely with the Department of Health. It is the law-making body which regards the effective use of traditional and alternative medicine. There are 10 herbs that are proven and tested to have medicinal value and approved by the DOH. Let us test your knowledge about this different herbal medicine by identifying the medicinal value of each herb. Choose your answer from the backs.
has your answers. Let's check if you got it right. Let's continue on our learning adventure Grayton as we will moving on this time to the different examples of alternative medicines. First is Ventosa. It is believed to relieve muscle and joint pains. This procedure is done by in placing inverted glasses that have flames from burning cotton on specific points in the body. Another is reflexology. This focuses on training specific disorders through massaging of the soles of the feet. We also have acupressure. This applies pressure at a certain points of the body. Another is acupuncture. It is believed to treat musculoskeletal dysfunctions. It uses long thin needles inserted to specific parts of the body to affect the energy flow. And the last one is nutrition therapy. This approaches treatment of a medical condition by providing a tailored diet for the patient. Those are the different complementary and alternative medicines I hope you have learned again today, grade 10. Let's summarize our lesson again with this knock-knock. La cocoracha. 